We're going to look at how to create a rectangle object and how to properly use it, especially in the sprite sheet animation application. If you look at the documentation, when you're creating a rectangle object, you need four integers. You need one for the left, top, right, and bottom. It doesn't go into any more detail than that, so I'll explain what it means. Here's our app screen, and just a quick reminder that the x-axis is along the top and the y-axis is along the, the left. Left in the rectangle object means the distance of the left side of your rectangle from the y-axis. Top means the distance of your top of a rectangle from your uh, x-axis, so that'd be the y-value. Right would be the distance of the right-hand side of your rectangle from your y-axis, so that'd be measured in x, and bottom is the distance to the bottom of your rectangle. And then to create your rectangle, it'd be new, rect, left, top, right, and bottom. But that's a bit complicated, and I'd prefer to think about it in the following way. It's just the coordinates of your top left, xy coordinates of your top left, and the bottom right coordinate, xy coordinates. And you can just imagine that you're creating a rectangle as if you would if you were copying and pasting. So you're dragging, you're dragging your square from the top left to the bottom right. And when you're creating your new rectangle, the first two are x and y for your top left, and the last two integers are x and y for the bottom right. That's a lot easier to remember. And we're going to use this rectangle frame to define where on the destination on the phone we're going to put our sprite. And while well, we've covered this, we're also going to use this rectangle to cut out from the source. And calculating these x and y values is done in the following way. Well, here's, here's a definition. When we talk about the x and y coordinate of one of these frames, we're going to be referring to the top left. So if the position of the frame is... Well, down here we've got the source uh, x and y positions. We're all that, That's always going to mean the top left. Top left. Once we've got the top left coordinates, the bottom right coordinates are easy to calculate. So we'll start with those. Here you can see that x bottom right is equal to your x top left plus your frame width. So it's x plus this width. Your y bottom right is equal to your y top left plus your source height. And this is where we have to start defining how our sprite sheet interacts. How do we decide what your Y top left is going to be? In our animation, we've got these uh, arrows moving around, and each of these rows represents a direction. Now, if we recalculate our Y top left by the row multiplied by the height, and if you look at the top frame here, this was in row zero. So zero times the source height is equal to zero. So your Y top left here is zero. And if we do the same for this frame on row three, row three times the height, so that's three heights. So that's Y height one, Y height two, Y height three gives us the top left. And then from that, we can work out the top right. And what about X top left? Well, for now, I'm going to keep that at zero, not to complicate things by too much. I'm going to just keep that at zero, which will animate or display only this first frame. We need to detect which row our sprite needs to be animated from. We've already got the variables to do this. So here's the X and Y axis for our mobile screen. And these are the variables that we've gone over before. We've got our destination X direction and our destination Y direction. So if our X direction is one, this direction, and our Y is zero, we're going to the right. So that's row zero. Let's pick one down here if our x direction is minus one, so it's going to the left, and our y direction is minus one, so it's going up, going left and up, row five. So it's diagonally top left. And we're going to do this by writing a new method. And here's what we need to implement. We need to detect sprite direction, create a method for that. We also have some source calculations from my sprite sheet. So the second method we need to implement are some source calculations to find out where we're cutting. And uh, finally here we've got uh, destination calculations where we'll find out where we're pasting. And we'll finally get around to some coding in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. <laughs>